नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सिग्मा आई ए एस वेलकम टू सिग्मा आई ए एस यूट्यूब चानल ऐम रविपाल रेडी सो वी आर् आफरिंग सिविल सर्वीस सी सैट पेपर टू कोचिंग फॉर् ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एट हईदराबाद मोर् डीटेल कॉन्टाक्ट दिस नंबर एंड टूडे ई विल अपलोड एक्सप्रेस इन सिग्मा ई एस यूट्यूब चानल Today's paper, CSAT paper two, twenty twenty two, total explanation, aptitude and reasoning papers. Explanation is available in available in our YouTube channel Sigma IAS. Already I uploaded some questions in our YouTube channel, and uh, within short time I will upload each question. Now one more question is which date of June twenty two thousand ninety nine among the following is Sunday. Which date of June twenty two thousand ninety nine among the following is uh, Sunday? So first to find the first to find the June first to twenty two thousand ninety nine. First to find the June June first. First to find the June first two thousand ninety nine two thousand two thousand ninety nine. So first to find the number of odd days. Number of odd days. So, for example, if the number of odd days, if the number of odd days up to given date is zero, that is Sunday, one Monday, two Tuesday, three Wednesday, four Thursday, five Friday, and six Saturday. So, first to find the number of odd days up to June first, June first, twenty ninety nine, two thousand ninety nine. So it is equal to how to find the number of odd days? Two thousand years, two thousand years plus ninety eight years plus don't write ninety nine because ninety nine year is not completed. Ninety eight years plus ninety ninth year January, February, March, April, May, and only one day in June. First to find the number of odd days up to June first. How many odd days are there in hundred years? Hundred years is equal to five odd days. Two hundred years is equal to three odd days. Three hundred years is equal to one odd day. Four hundred years is equal to zero odd days. If you want to know more about more about uh, this uh, odd days. already i uploaded a calendar topic in calendar topic in our youtube channel sigma is youtube channel so if you are unable to understand the question well, my request is first to watch the calendar topic then once again please watch this video then your doubts will be clear so 100 years 5 hour days 200 years 3 hour days 300 years 1 hour day 400 years 0 hour days and also all 400 multiples 400 multiples means 800, 1200, 1600, 2000, 2400 years as zero odd days. What is the meaning of odd day? After completing some weeks, the extra days are known as odd days. Okay, now find the number of odd days in 2000 years. 2000 is a 400 multiple, 400 years and 400 multiples as zero odd days. Therefore, 2000 years is zero odd days. Plus. 98 years. How many odd days are there in 98 years? Each year has only one odd day because one year has 365 days. 365 days means 52 weeks one day. 52 weeks one day, therefore one odd day. Each leap year has two odd days because leap year has 366 days. 366 days means 52 weeks or two days. So now in 98 years, how many odd days are there? Let all ninety-eight are ordinary years. If all ninety-eight are ordinary years, each year has one odd day, so ninety-eight years has ninety-eight odd days. But in ninety-eight years, some leap years are there. How many leap years are there? Leap year comes after every four years, so divide with four. Find the number of leap years. Four two eight. Four two eight. One eight eighteen. Four four two sixteen. Don't take the remainder. Because the remaining two are other years, so in 98 years, how many leap years are there? 
24 years. If all 98 are ordinary years, each ordinary year has one odd day. 98 years has 98 odd days. But in 98 years, 24 leap years are there. Leap year has one extra odd day compared to ordinary year. Leap year has one extra odd day compared to ordinary year. Therefore, in 98 years, 24 leap years are there. So, 24 extra odd days are there. So, find the sum of these two numbers. 98 plus 2, 100. So, it is 122. So, in 98 years, 122 odd days are there. Odd days means after completing some weeks, the extra days are known as odd days. After completing some weeks, the extra days are known as odd days. So, 122 days. How many odd days are there? One more method is there. Divide with 7, take the remainder. So, 122 divided by 7. 7 1 so 7. 7 1 so 7. Remainder is 5. 5 to 52. 7 7 so 49. 7 7 so 49. The remainder is 3. Therefore, in 98 years, how many odd days are there? 3 odd days. January 31 days. 31 days means 4 weeks, 3 days. 4 weeks, 3 days, therefore 3 odd days. February 2099 is ordinary year. Ordinary year, February month has 28 days. 28 days means 0 odd days. March month, 31 days. 31 means 4 weeks, 3 days. April, 30 days. 4 weeks, 2 days, therefore 2 odd days. May, 31 days. 31 days means 4 weeks, 3 days, 3 odd days. And 1 day in June. Now find the total 3, 6, 9, 9 plus 2, 11, 11 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 3, 15, 15. 15 means uh, total how many odd days are there up to June 1st, 2099, 15. Odd days always should be less than 7. If it is 7 or more than 7, divide with 7, take the remainder. So 7 to 14, extra 1 odd day is there. Therefore, one odd day. One odd day means Monday. One odd day means Monday. Therefore, June 1st is Monday. June 1st is Monday. June 1st is Monday. Second Tuesday. Third Wednesday. Fourth Thursday. Five Friday. Six Saturday. Then seventh one is Sunday. So, June 7th is Sunday. June 7th is Sunday. So, your answer is D. Which day following is uh, among the following is Sunday? So, 7th June 2099 is a Sunday. This is your answer. The total pay explanation 2022 Civil Services CSAT Paper 2 explanation is available in, in Sigma IAS YouTube channel and also ravipalreddy.com website. And please share this video to your friends. And within short time, I will upload all the questions. Thank you.